Hi, I'm Nikki, and this is my Bloxburg house. I've been changing every single room in my house from something that was just bare and ugly to something that just pops and gives some nice ring to your eyes and very appealing. And this is what I call a series Bloxburg Fixer Upper. Okay, so there's a lot of rooms that still need to be done in this house. And I kind of want to capture the moment they on the real show, Fixer Upper, which is my favorite show. I want to capture a lot of real moments on there so you can see a lot of new stuff in this episode. But, oh my god, this new room I have a ton of plans for. So I want to keep it down in the basement area because we've kind of been doing a lot in the basement. You can see the whole building right there. Like, I kind of changed. But we've basically, what we've done last time was not in redecorating it or Blacksburg Fixer Upper, so I'm calling it series now. Uh, we've basically been decorating this room and it's kind of nice. So I'm going to go head over to the room, which is down this way over here, in our brand new garage, which I need to add the roof piece over there because it's kind of like floating bookshelves. But over here we have this brand new bedroom that I'm actually going to go walk you through the process of what I'm going to do, and then we're going to have some before and after shots in here as well, which is going to be really cool. So in this room, basically it needs to be cutted. Basically what's going to happen is all of these decorations, all the beds, the span, the lights, they're all going to go or it's gonna it's gonna be changed the walls textures are gonna be changed and these windows these windows need to go and if we look outside if we look outside maybe the mountain area could stay but i don't know a lot of this stuff needs to be changed so basically what my plans are is to add keep add new windows on that back wall change where the bed is positioned and then change the colors up of the walls and some of the decorations. Maybe make the wood flooring a little bit more like it's actual wood paneling by doubling up on the Bloxburg floors. And then maybe not use too much linen in this room because I feel like linen is very overused. And if you guys can see my house um, upstairs, which you'll probably see in later videos, is that I'm actually changing a lot of the linen wall walls to be something very different. So I feel like we can gut all this out. And basically change it and get all new furniture and stuff that can fit this basement area. So now obviously this is going to be a lot of work and I hope that you know this all goes smoothly and of course I can do it. I know it's going to go smoothly and I know it's going to happen so I hope that this all works out. Okay so right now we kind of have this room and I kind of showed you guys a little bit of the plans. Um, so yeah we're basically going to just gut this area out and move on with it. So obviously this process is not going to be easy, so right now I'm just kind of starting off in deleting everything on the plot um, in the room. So basically all the decorations are going to be gone, and all the floor and walls are going to be decorated as medium stone gray. Just kind of give it a blank slate, and then we're going to replace all the floors. Obviously this is an easy process, as you can see I've been, I did it twice. Um, and obviously the windows are going to get replaced with the windows that I've already used in other rooms, which makes this process a little bit easier. Now, when I was going into planning, I wanted to use um, a type of bed um, that I didn't really use before, but then obviously I couldn't. So I just basically used the industrial bed, and I used a lot of the industrial furniture in this um, build, as you guys can definitely see. Um, but this wasn't an easy process because I had to basically decorate and there was a lot of issues with this as well. Obviously with fixer uppers, there's always going to be issues. Um, and some of the real moments I wanted to capture was what was this going to entail? Um, and obviously there's that little talking point that we kind of saw there. Obviously, um, finding the right pillows and sizing them to a correct point was one of the hardest parts um, as well. But it seems easy right now, as you can tell. But doing this, um, getting the that pillow on um, that spacing down on the bed get hidden that was the most hardest part ever um i took my time with this and it turned out to be possibly a in hard thing to do um but this room obviously i kind of like the outcome i kind of like where it's going um obviously you can see it kind of sped up a little bit i'm giving commentary as i as i should um it's something that i want to do now for these types of videos with the blocks brick fixer uppers and kind of good like maybe in between each thing, a little bit of commentary. Obviously now I'm re-putting the wall trims on here and I kind of didn't stick with that industrial um, dresser um, because it just, putting two and two together was just um, huge. So I just used the original dresser and um, then it tied the room together in the end. 
Um, and now um, I put an ottoman, which obviously I wasn't sitting facing the correct way, which obviously I don't know how anyone could tell about that. I think out of like all of that, that probably was like one of the issues I had, but I'm going to use a lot of furniture in this build um, because I've already have it down, so it's going to be easier. So I don't know why I got rid of some of it. So that's just going to be something different that I'm going to use, I guess. So obviously now I'm just placing down my industrial lamp. Um, I use this in a lot of the rooms because it doesn't really give off that bright light. And now the wall trims was one of the um, things I use in a lot of rooms, but it's a little bit different than my other rooms that I've done. Uh, as you can see, it's not like that. Um, I'm and in this room, I basically put in a lot of different textures uh, because I think it brought the room together in the end and obviously I'm rambling on I'm just telling you what's gonna happen in this but yeah um, I'm using a lot of woods I'm using a lot of bricks because um, really using just a smooth plastic in my rooms I kind of saw they were just not it they were just um, bland so now bringing in that wood texture throughout the house um, well not throughout the house throughout this room just kind of makes this room a little bit pop it gives you that nice different feel. It's kind of like a nice room uh, to think where this room started off and where it is now in this process of redecorating. It's just nice. Now I'm obviously um, trying to texture the walls, get them like a nice color. Um, I went through a lot of colors and now the bed, um, that is a different story for later. Um, but the walls, the main walls, they were a very hard color to find. So I just went with an oyster color and I kind of went with like just like a normal wood texture on there. Now the bed, I kind of wanted to use maybe like a little bit of a metal, but um, the outer parts of it, so plywood um, for the wood parts, really nice, really tight it. Um, plywood is something you're going to see happen throughout this build a lot. Um, and then just sticking with the dark stone gray and then coloring the pillows was a not an easy task. Um, just I wanted to find the right textures, the right colors to tie this all together. Um, Pretty much that's all I've been doing throughout this um, process is just retexturing, recoloring, and using a lot of my old furniture. Um, the different bed definitely is new furniture. The different nightstands is definitely new. The ottoman is new. The uh, lamp is new. Um, and with the new Bloxburg update, with the new pillows transformed to um, hanging blankets, I kind of really like that. It's really nice. So now all I have to do is just um, tie in all of the um, stands to fit with the bed that I just placed down. Um, and now the clock, obviously I stuck with metal and white, um, like a nice dark colors with a little bit of popping of light color. Now the door, the door is changed. It's just, I changed a lot of it from the dark brown to now the gray. Um, I kind of went with twisted wood and kind of like a brown color for the wood. Kind of just fit in with the room a little bit. And I kind of like how that turned out. Now, obviously a bookshelf, I turned that into plywood um, and kind of used like a nice little brown color as well. As obviously you can see, the plywood kind of comes into play. Now, I'm kind of using, the first time I'm using the industrial desk here, and I kind of color that with plywood and just kind of the same things with the bed. So a lot of the industrial furniture is going to stay the same. Um, and I'm using an industrial chair with the, with the wood, with the plywood and stuff like that. So you can obviously see, ply, see plywood is coming in a lot. Now... Basically what I'm doing is I'm putting a notice board and I kind of changing the color on the back of the notice board to a little bit of a light brownish corky color. I don't know. I don't know how you can really say that, but I basically tie that in. Um, now the rug, I wanted to have like a big rug and obviously in the end I kind of got that. So I moved the bed out of the way and resized the rug and put the bed back in there. So I think that pretty much out of all of this, this is just amazing. Um, I kind of you can kind of see the whole process come together. And now I really like the little hanging plants because I feel like that comes into play. Now these neon lights, I kind of wanted to do like LED lights. So I colored those red. Obviously on the other side, I kind of wanted to do one little one, but I did a big one up at top and I colored that one purple. Um, it didn't really change the colors throughout the room. So that was what I was really happy about and I was concerned about that as well. So alarm clock so the person can wake up in a little bag because you don't know what you're gonna need the bag for. Um, and then I just put a little picture frame on there and colored some of the books. Um, and I was like basically going around different rooms, picking up plants and picking up books and different paintings and stuff and putting them around. Um, so it really helps that I had a lot of different items already around the house that helped me put this room all together. 
Now, all this is now is just putting the finishing decorations, finishing touches, since a lot of the hard work, which was coloring, getting all the different stuff, how I wanted to decorate it is, now it's just like the finishing touches like that keyboard, the laptop, putting that nice little frame right there with the picture, and pretty much now it's just going to be me sitting here trying to figure out what I wanted to add, um, going around, add that little plant in that corner because it's really nice, really ties the place together. And now is recalling the dresser, the top of it being plywood, and I kind of went through a lot of different colors for the bottom of the dresser because I didn't really know which would tie it together. But I think I ended up putting like a whitish color with the gray handles, as you could see from right there. Um, I put a book on top as well. Um, I feel like that this room now, as you can see, it just tied all together and is like one of my favorite rooms now. So that's all I have for this room. That's the process. Now I feel that this room changed so much from the beginning and like as you can see like you know some of the before and after shots kind of rolling through a little bit you can see that all these things that I've added like you know the accent walls that I haven't really used before just kind of pops the room a little bit and you can kind of just see the dramatic change that went from just this boring room that used a lot of linen to now a room that just gives you more details and more textures. And obviously we're going to do a little bit of walkthrough and as you guys I kind of got was my little bit of process of what I kind of was going through, what was going through my mind. Yeah, we're now going to go through the walkthrough of the room, everything that has changed since you've already seen these before and after shots. Obviously right off the bat, you can kind of just tell that the door Kind of just changed its texture and well not texture it changed its color and I feel like that this kind of is like a new texture of course I kind of like but obviously right off the bat you can definitely see I used a lot more textures than they usually don't use like the plywood I felt like this natural thing when you cut off wood and just cut off into plywood and putting the plywood on the bed and different pillow colors on the bed I think it really pops um some foil textures around just kind of gives it like the nice little textures. This nice wood over here, I really like how it ties in behind the bed and it goes into some bricks and then another piece of wood and then it's just a smooth wall. Obviously a lot of these um, trims don't really line up a little bit, but that doesn't matter. It's nice. I kind of like it. Um, kind of had this desk with here as well with the plywood and stuff. This little ottoman, which kind of you're just facing the wall a little bit, so I definitely have to reposition that. Um, but I kind of like this. The new um, update stuff, you can put like the blanket draping over the bed over here. And then you kind of have also this right here, put the blanket over there as well. So I think I think this room has kind of really tied to, tied itself together and brings us another iteration of this um, redecorating my Bloxburg home, which is pretty nice and pretty awesome. So that pretty much was that room and I'm very satisfied with this outcome. I'm really satisfied with how it came out showing it now, seeing that this room was transformed to, from something ugly to something pretty much amazing, really satisfies me. So thank you guys so much for viewing this episode. I do have more episodes coming out very soon, so definitely check those out. Built an empire.